Let's just have a little audio check. Check one, two. <laughs> so yeah, I hate talking about myself, eh? <laughs> so hi, I'm Stu Wright, uh, production sound mixer. Um, I did season five of Peaky Blinders and about to do season six using uh, exclusively DPA microphones. When using the 4017Bs and the 6060s, just it's effortless, just mix in between. It pretty much sounds like the same mic, it's, it's amazing. When using lavs on things like tight dresses, nightgowns, which will reflect light really easily, uh, cables become quite an issue. If they're not slight, then you will see them. Uh, the 6060 allowed us to go right along the seams really easily and even if the tape came undone or anything then it still wouldn't come out and show. I think it was EP5 we had a momentous sort of five page scene, six characters, one shot all the way through the scene. Um, we'd be looking sort of 320 degrees, we couldn't get within a metre with the boom because of the lighting. So, luckily, um, managed to get a 6060 on Kate, who had this nightgown on. She'd been shot, she was in pain, she was screaming, she was going mad. At the same time, we had crying, whispering, shouting over her. But luckily, Killian and Paul came in really closer because they're talking to her, and they would both spill onto her microphone because they'd already ripped shirts open, it had gone crazy, saw their position and gone on their radios. Luckily they fed onto her, it was just perfect, it, like, it sounds almost like a boom mic for all three of them, like intimate one. And that's what made the final cut, um, they didn't aid or anything. Season 6, we have a full range of 6060s now, which we'll have on every character. Um, also we're going to use 17s on the booms, 18s for plants possibly, and we're looking forward, I think we're double looking forward to it more, just to mixing it. And all sounding great.